In the words of Bob Marley, in this bright future, you can't forget your past. Today, we embark on an odyssey, an exploration of the origins of a true icon, an escapade that takes us back to the small, vibrant Caribbean island of Jamaica during the early 40s. In those days, Jamaica was a simmering pot of diverse cultures, an exquisite fusion of African, European and Caribbean influences. The island was vibrant, alive and teeming with colourful traditions, customs and practices. Within this cultural mosaic, two distinct individuals, Sidella Booker and Norval Marley, would find their destinies intertwined, their alliance signalling the dawn of a story that was nothing short of extraordinary. Sidella was a young Jamaican girl, a veritable force of nature, whose spirit was as dynamic and effervescent as the island's verdant landscapes. She was strong, fiery and full of life, the embodiment of the island's energy and vitality. Norval Marley, on the other hand, was a man of a different stripe. He was a British naval officer, significantly older and more experienced. His demeanour was as commanding as the vast ocean he navigated, his aura as imposing as an Atlantic storm. Their relationship was both unusual and complex, as intricate and delicate as the society they were part of, shaped and influenced by racial disparities and societal confines. Their love story unfurled in the quiet hamlet of Nine Mile. Tucked away in the serene St Anne Parish of Jamaica, this village was an epitome of tranquility, surrounded by gentle hills and the sweet murmur of a flowing river. Here, amidst the rhythms of nature and the close-knit community, the world welcomed Bob Marley. This quaint little village, which was a treasure trove of authentic Jamaican culture and communal spirit, served as the perfect canvas for Bob's early years. As a child, he was deeply influenced by the chorus of life that surrounded him. The steady beat of the drums, the rhythmic babbling of the river, the harmonious symphony of the wilderness. These were the melodies that nourished his soul, sowed the seeds of musicality in his heart. Sedella and Norval, each with their unique backgrounds and individual experiences, instilled in him a profound sense of identity, a firm anchor in his roots. They taught him the value of resilience, of standing tall in the face of adversity. Life, however, was far from a bed of roses. The fleeting relationship between his parents and the societal hurdles they confronted cast long shadows over their sunny days. Yet these hardships were not pointless struggles. Rather, they were the catalysts, the motivators that would mould and shape this young boy into a global icon that he was destined to become. They were the stepping stones that paved the way to his colossal success, the lessons that shaped his worldview, the experiences that gave birth to his revolutionary music. These tumultuous years, the trials and tribulations were not detriments, but contributors to Bob's journey. They were integral parts of his narrative, instilling in him a sense of empathy and a deep understanding of the human condition. They became an inherent part of his music, resonating with millions around the globe. His lyrics, his beliefs, his passion, they were all born out of these experiences. His music became a beacon of hope, a source of solace for people grappling with the harsh realities of life. Bob Marley was not just a musician. He was a revolutionary, a beacon of hope, a propeller of change, his music, his words, his beliefs, they transcended borders, languages and cultures, connecting people from all walks of life. And so, in the small village of Nine Mile, amidst the verdant hills and the soothing sounds of nature, amidst the trials and triumphs, a legend was born. Nine Mile, a humble village nestled in the heart of Jamaica, was the birthplace of Bob Marley. This unassuming settlement, cradled in the green bosom of the St Anne Parish, signifies more than just a geographic location. It represents a place where the rhythms of nature danced in perfect accord with the heartbeat of its inhabitants, moulding a young Bob Marley. Nine Mile is a vibrant canvas of tropical foliage, crisscrossed by rivers and dotted with colourful houses, all basking under the warm Jamaican sun. It is a place where the song of birds is punctuated by the gentle rustling of leaves, where time seems to sway to the alluring tempo of the reggae beat. Each gentle zephyr that sweeps across this village carries timeless tales of resilience, love, unity and the rhythmic cadence of day-to-day -day life. Life in Nine Mile is a symphony of simplicity, 
each day marked by the rise and set of the sun. The nights emerge as a mellifluous harmony of nocturnal creatures serenading the starlit sky. The community is a tightly knit tapestry of individuals, their lives intertwined by shared experiences, dreams, and the enduring struggle for existence. A spirit of camaraderie permeates this quaint village, infusing every interaction with warmth and authenticity. Young Bob was an astute observer. He soaked in the vibrancy of his surroundings, the laughter, the camaraderie, the spirit of unity, the shared struggles, and the indomitable optimism of the people around him. These were his earliest inspirations. Each of these elements would later find profound expression in his evocative music. Bob Marley's early years were not bereft of hardships. He experienced the pain of his father's absence, societal challenges faced by his and the stark realities of life in a rural Jamaican village. Yet it was these trials that served to fuel his determination, inspiring him to wield his music as a potent tool for transformation and change. The natural beauty of Nine Mile played a significant role in shaping Bob's perspective. The lush greenery, the azure skies, the rolling hills and the tranquil waters were not merely a picturesque backdrop to his childhood. They were a profound source of solace and inspiration, instilling in him a deep respect for nature and a sense of oneness with Mother Earth. These themes would echo throughout his music, resonating with listeners worldwide. Bob Marley's early years in Nine Mile were a series of defining moments that shaped his character, sharpened his talent and moulded his worldview. His experiences in this unpretentious village laid the foundation for his journey as a global icon. They instilled in him a sense of pride in his heritage, a deep understanding of the human experience and a burning desire to use his music to propagate love, unity and positivity. As we, we delve deeper into the life and legacy of Bob Marley, we see how the pulse of Nine Mile beat in sync with his heart. We understand how the rhythm of this humble Jamaican village found profound expression in his music and how the spirit of its people fueled his lyrics. We see how the experiences and trials of young Bob became the thread that wove the tapestry of his music. This gives us a deeper understanding of the man behind the music, shedding light on how his experiences shaped his worldview and fueled his creativity. Bob Marley was a product of Nine Mile, a village that shaped his honed his talent and nurtured his dreams. This humble village was not just the birthplace of a global icon, it was the cradle that nurtured the voice of a generation. It was in this village that a young boy discovered the rhythm within him, a rhythm that would go on to reverberate across the globe, uniting people of all colours and creeds under the banner of love, peace and unity. In the heartbeat of Nine Mile, young Bob Marley found his rhythm. Behind every great man, there's a great woman, and for Bob Marley, it was his mother, Sadella Booker. Now, let's delve deeper into the tale of Sadella. A fiercely resilient woman with an unyielding spirit, Sadella's story is one of courage, determination, and unwavering devotion to her beloved son, Bob. Her role extended beyond the realms of motherhood. She was also Bob's anchor, his beacon in a tumultuous sea. Sadella was a product of a vibrant Jamaica, a land that burst with colour, pulsated with rhythm and overflowed with the collective warmth of its inhabitants. She was a woman of unique character, her every action an embodiment embodiment of the rich cultural heritage she was steeped in. But her contributions to Bob's life weren't confined only to a cultural legacy. She also instilled in him profound principles, a resilience that would become legendary, and the spirit of a warrior that knew no defeat. Then there was the enigmatic figure of Norval Marley, Bob's father. Of English descent, Norval's narrative was a complicated one, intertwined with numerous adversities, societal expectations and constraints. His brief with Sadella was an act of rebellion against societal norms. As a white Jamaican of English heritage, Norval was nearing the age of 60 when he encountered Sadella, a young woman in her teens. Their whirlwind romance was fleeting, but it resulted in the birth of the legendary Robert Nestor Marley. Their love story was far from conventional, marked by numerous struggle and societal prejudice. Yet from this unusual union came an extraordinary gift to the world, Bob Marley. 
The hardships that Sedella and Norval faced were substantial. Being a mixed race couple in a time and place of racial prejudice and hostility, they encountered numerous challenges. Norval's work took him away frequently, leaving to raise their son Bob in the rural village of Nine Mile. But it was in these testing conditions that Bob's character was molded. He was born into a world riddled with imperfections and a family that bore the brunt of societal adversity. However, these trials were the fuel to his music, infusing it with profundity and authenticity. Sedella's undying strength, Norval's refusal to conform to societal norms and their mutual love for their son collectively shaped Bob into the musical legend he became. Their narratives, filled with struggles and victories, became the threads weaving Bob's story. They were the nurturing roots which the legend blossomed. Despite their struggles, Sedella and Norval were instrumental in setting the stage for Bob's future success. As we delve into their lives, their love, we find a testament to the power of resilience and the unyielding spirit of love. Their story forms a grand tapestry of struggle, love and triumph played out against the vibrant canvas of Jamaican culture. Their lives echoing through Bob's music, his words, his life are the testament of the unsung heroes behind the legend that was Bob Marley. Adversity, as they say, is the greatest teacher and for Bob Marley, it was no different. Born in a Jamaica riddled with societal pressures and economic challenges, Bob Marley's early years were far from untroubled. His family was deeply rooted in financial struggles and the volatile relationship between his parents, Sidella Booker and Norval Marley, left him with a noticeable paternal void, void. He was raised in the peaceful village of Nine Mile, a place of serene landscapes and an uncomplicated rural lifestyle which seemed to be a stark contrast to his tumultuous personal life. Its lush hills and rustic charm offered a haven, but underneath this tranquil exterior were the harsh realities of poverty and societal constraints that were an integral part of his formative years. The vibrant Jamaican culture he was in was as much a part of his upbringing as the struggles he encountered. The void left by his father was filled by his invincible spirit and an unyielding desire to rise above his situation. Music became his retreat. It is ally during trials, his comfort during hardships, his passion for music and social justice sprang from these adversities. His experiences and the challenges his family faced were not exclusive to them, but were reflective of post-colonial Jamaica, as it wrestled with the remnants of its history and the aspirations of its future. His music mirrored these realities, striking a chord with the collective psyche of Jamaicans and eventually the rest of the world. The obstacles he overcame were not stumbling blocks, but stepping stones leading him to greatness. His experiences molded him and his music provided him with a unique perspective that was unfiltered and authentic. His lyrics were not merely words, but were imbued with the lived experiences of a man who had seen life's harsh realities. Yet he chose to convey a message of love, unity and resilience. He was a beacon of hope for those who, like him, had encountered adversity. Despite the trials he faced, he never lost sight of his dreams. He learned to channel his experiences into his music, creating a potent narrative that transcended geographical and cultural boundaries. His journey from rural landscapes of Nine Mile to global stardom serves as a testament to his resilience. The adversities he faced, the resilience he nurtured, and the lessons he learned all contributed to his legendary status. His music continues to inspire millions long after his demise. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance and resilience and the profound influence of a man's journey from humble beginnings to global recognition. In the face of adversity, a resilient spirit was fostered, one that would soon resonate with millions around the world. Bob Marley's story is a testament to truth. His roots, steeped in struggle and resilience, were the foundation of his legendary status, reminding us all of the power of perseverance, the beauty of resilience, and the profound impact of one man's journey from a small village in Jamaica to becoming a global icon. From the tranquil village of Nine Mile to the global stage, Bob Marley's roots played an undeniable role in his journey. This is a story not just of a man, but of a place and time that bred a legend. 
Born Robert Nestor in the humble confines of Nine Mile, a remote village tucked away in the verdant hills of St Anne Parish, Jamaica, his was not an extraordinary start. Yet it was in this ordinary setting that extraordinary things began to take shape. His parents, Sir Della Booker, a local Jamaican singer, and Norval Marley, a British naval officer, played a pivotal role in these formative years. The union of their disparate cultures and backgrounds, a fusion of Jamaican soul and British discipline, bore witness to a unique blend of influences that would serve to shape young Bob. The times were reflective of a rich cultural context with the tumultuous 1940s laying the foundations of modern Jamaica. The vibrant blend of music, spirituality and community spirit that enveloped the region, Bob began to soak in the world around him. His father's British heritage exposed him to influences beyond the Caribbean, while his mother's creative spirit breathed life into the budding musician within him. The melange of experiences and cultures at home became the first seeds of inspiration that would bloom into his resonant music. The rural village of Nine Mile, more than just a home, it was a microcosm of the world that Bob would later sing to. The tight-knit community with its unique customs and traditions, its struggles, its joys and its heartaches, the spectacular natural landscapes that cradled it, all became part of Bob's worldview. He found music in the hustle and bustle of village life, in the quiet rustling of the leaves, in the voices of the people and in the rhythm of the Jamaican heartland. His lyrics, deeply rooted in these experiences, offered a mirror to the world he knew, giving his music an authenticity that resonated with millions around the globe. The ephemeral union of his parents, cut short by societal constraints, painted a heartfelt picture of love against odds. Nonetheless, it served to fortify the young artist's resolve, teaching him about love, loss and resilience. These experiences, bitter and sweet, became threads in the intricate tapestry of life, weaving a narrative that found its voice in his music. His songs, deeply personal yet universally relatable, carried the echoes of his joys, his hardships, his losses and his victories, adding depth and relatability to each verse and melody. As we retrace the path from the birth of a legend, through the pastoral cradle of his upbringing, the brief yet influential union of his parents, their struggle against societal norms, to the inception of the man himself, we gain insight into the roots of Bob Marley. These roots were not merely geographical, but more so a confluence of experiences, influences and cultures. They were the bedrock upon which he built his music, his message and his enduring global impact. In our forthcoming videos, we'll delve deeper into the life and legacy of Bob Marley. We'll explore the man behind the music, the influences that shaped his artistry and the impact he has left on the world. As we embark on this journey, remember his words. In this bright future, you can't forget your past. The roots of Bob Marley, steeped in the spirit of Jamaica, were the foundation on which he built his bright future, influencing the world with his music and message. Thanks for watching. Please remember like, share, comment and subscribe. Help me get my 1K subscribers. Thank you.